Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will convert fractions to percentages. Last time, we had a time video wherein we talked about how to convert fractions to decimals and decimals to fractions. Yung links ng mga videos na yun, ilalagay natin sa ating description box and pwede mo rin siyang makita dito. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So throughout this video, meron tayong four different examples. And basic basic method natin on how to convert fraction to percentage is by long division. And mag-offer din ako sa inyo ng second method in which for me, that is the fastest or the easiest way on how to convert fractions to percentages. So let's start with number one. In number one, we are given 3 over 10. Ang gagawin natin dito is that we will divide this numerator gamit yung ating denominator. So, paano magiging itsura nun? Ganito siya. We have here 3 divided by 10. Now, as you can see, 3 divided by 10 is hindi pwede. Meaning, we will put 0 here at magagalagay tayo dito ng decimal point. So now, meron na tayong panibagong divisor which is 30. 30 divided by 10 is equal to 3. Tama? Now, multiply natin 3 times 10. We have here 30. Subtracting this, it will give you 0. Since the remainder is 0, we will stop dividing the numbers. So kung mapansin nyo, meron tayo itong 0 point 0 0.3 as your decimal. So we have 0 0.3. Yung target natin is to convert this into percentage. Ngayon, after dividing it, magiging decimal siya, tapos itong decimal natin, i-convert natin bilang percentage. Now, how are we going to convert this decimal to percentage? Lagi mo lang dito, you will move 2 units going to the right. Again, 2 units, ha? 1, and 2. As you can see, this will become 30. So, on 30 na yan is magiging 30%. So, yun magiging sagot natin dito. We have 3 over 10, which is equal to 30%. Ngayon, that is the first method. Sir, what about the second method? For the second method, ito yung ginagawa ko. I have 3 over 10. What I'm going to do, gawa lang ng separation dito, is that I will divide this, one hundred, this 10 by 100, like this one, or baliktad, I will divide 100 by 10, by the denominator. Kasi, uh, ito yung shortcut na meron ako. So I have 10, uh, 100 divided by 10 is equal to 10, right? Ngayon, I will multiply it by the numerator. And the, the answer is, 30. Since that is 30, I will attach a percentage symbol para maging percentage siya. So, recap lang tayo kung paano ginagawa yung shortcut. For the shortcut, you have the fraction. I divide being 100 using the denominator. Magkakaroon ka ng sagot itong 10. Then, your answer or the quotient, multiply it by 3, it will become 30. Anong konsepto? Bakit tayo gumagamit ng 100? Kasi percent to. Okay? Percent. Kaya 100 yan. So as you can see, para siya naging sagot natin using two different methods. Comment down below kung meron kayo mas mabilis na way dito na pwede natin ma-share sa ating mga subscribers. Let's continue with item number 2. For number 2, we will go again with the long method or long division. We will try to divide 20 by 13. Uh, 13 by 20. So we have 13 divided by 20. So as you can see, hindi pwede, di ba? So mag -ano tayo dito? Um, extend. So it will become 130. 130 divided by 20 is 6. 6 times 20 is 120. Subtract these numbers. You have here 10. Okay? Now, we're not yet done because the remainder is 0. You will add z another 0 here and then bring it down. It will become 100. 100 divided by 20, that is equal to how many? 
this is 5 5 times 20 is equal to 100 subtract this we have 0 so stop the tie done as you can see meron tayong 0 0.65 0 0.65 same yung ginawa natin dito convert by moving to the decimal places going to the right 1 and 2 so as you can see this is 65 mag attach ka ng percentage symbol and this is 65% now testing na natin kung mag work ba yung shortcut natin for the shortcut we have 13 over 20 divide 100 by 20 So we have here 5 and then times 13. 13 times 5 is 65. Mag-attach ka lang dito ng percentage symbol. Automatically, that is our answer. Okay? So let's have another example. Para mas ma-master natin yung pag-convert ng fractions and percentage. Now, we have here 6 over 25. Again, I will offer two different methods para sanay din kayo mag long division. So, we have here 6 over 25. We will divide 6 by 25. So, obviously, hindi siya pwede. So, maglagay tayo dito ng 0. So, we have 60 now. 60 divided by 25. That is equal to 2. 2 times 25, this is 50. Subtract these numbers. 60 minus 50 is 10. And as you can see, we're not yet done. We still have the remainder. Put a 0 here. Bring down 0. And this will become 100. 100 divided by 25 is how many? 4. 4 times 25 is 100. Subtract these numbers. 0. So we will stop dividing. As you can see, meron tayo rito yung 0. Point, oh, sorry. This is 0. 0.24. Convert this into percentage. Paano? 1 and 2. Meron tayong 24. And this is 24%. The equivalent percentage of or percent of 6 over 25 is 24%. Gamitin natin ngayon yung ating shortcut. We have 6 over 25. Divide 100 by 25. 100 divided by 25 is 4. Right? Then multiply it by 6. 6 times 4 is 24. And as you can see guys, same yung naging answer natin. We have... 24%. Now, as part of our routine, I want you to work with number 4. We have 3 over 5, and you can try on your own using the long method and the shortcut method para magkaroon ka confirmation whether your answer is correct. I hope na makita ko sa ating comment section what is your answer in this activity. So I hope guys learned something from this video on how to convert fractions to percentages. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit the bell bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!